Hi, welcome back to my channel. I have some more Tumblr and Tower Block DIYs today. And for the first DIY, you need one of the 72 block packs of Tower Blocks, some Dollar Tree Super Glue Wood Glue. So I'm going to glue together two rows of three Tower Blocks, and then I'm going to glue two on the next row, and then one. So it looks like this. And this is going to be the wee shelf part for the wall sconces that I'm making. I'm just wiping off the excess glue on both sides because it's the shelf, you're going to see both sides, so make sure you wipe off the glue from both sides. And now I'm going to make the other part, and I glue together five tower blocks in a row, and then four, and then three, put them in the middle each time, and each uh, alternative row should match up with the uh, with each other so you can just see where the tower blocks go and then you know they're all going to be in the right place and I put one and then I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side so all the DIYs in this video are I've got diamond theme <laughs> I started off with four DIYs that I had in my head and then I ended up making a bunch more because I got other ideas of things that you could do with this diamond pattern. So I made wall sconces, these shelves, lantern, and plant stand, I can't even remember what I made, <laughs> uh, uh, planter and some wee pictures. So I made two of these and then I'm just gluing on the shelf part to the bottom of the DIY, DIY <laughs> the tower box on the outside and then I'm just gluing one tower block underneath in the middle like that. So I'm just going to do that to the other shelf. And of course I had to glue on some of the wee beads. These are 15mm and I got a pack of 400 from Amazon so I'll leave a link down below. And then I stained it with the Early American Wood Stain and this is what they look like. And I'm just going to use a little piece of popsicle stick and some twine and some hot glue to make a wee hanger from the top. You could make a beaded hanger if you want to, this is just what I wanted to this video was supposed to come out on Thursday and I just ended up doing more and more DIYs so it's going to be out on Sunday instead so I'm sorry only one video this week but this one took me a lot of time and this is how they turned out and I just put two wee candles on there and I think they turned out so pretty. I'm just in love with the early American wood stain now, but these DIYs would look nice in any colour. Any colour you wanted to make them, they would look really good. So I made another one, just the same, and I'm going to show you two different ways you can put the shelves, and then I'm going to show you them on the wall. So this is the first way. You could make more of them in a row if you wanted to. And then this is the second way. And I actually had to tape this this way with some masking tape because I wasn't sure what way I was going to put them. And then I decided to make another DIY out of them. So that's coming up next. So I decided to make another three of these and you could glue them together like this or you can glue them together like this. You can always make more and glue them to the sides or whatever if you want to. So I'm just going to glue them all together and then leave them to dry. Also for this you could put some scrapbook paper or the Dollar Tree wallpaper in those cut out diamonds in the middle. I thought I had another sheet of that 
leaf one, the green leaf one, but I forgot that <laughs> I'd used it in the last video. I stained some beads and already strung them up and I'm just going to glue them to the back with some hot glue and a wee bit popsicle stick because I wanted, I think I put 18 on it so it would look like the diamond as well when it's hanging up and then I'm just gluing on some popsicle sticks to the back just to give it some extra support you can add them to the middle pieces as well if you want to but I didn't think it needed it obviously you're not going to put anything heavy on this shelf it's just for we succulents and trinkets and stuff like what I've put on here but I think it turned out so pretty and I wish I had that wallpaper so I could show you what it looked like but this was my favourite DIY until I made some more and now I don't know <laughs> You need two packs of tower blocks for this DIY and some wood glue. This time we're making a diamond shape where we're going to make it bigger. So I'm going to glue eight tower blocks in a row and that's the longest piece. And then I'm going to go seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and I'm going to do that on each side. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to make the shelf part and I'm making it five blocks across and I'm going to double that up and then I'm going to do four, three, two and one for the next rows. And remember to clean the glue off both sides because you will see both sides because this is the shelf part. So I'm just going to glue the shelf on at the bottom of the tower block, the one tower block on either side and then cleaning off any excess glue and then I'm going to glue three tower blocks in the middle underneath
and now I'm just gonna glue on some of the wee beads. These are optional. I just love them and think they make everything look better. And then I stained it with the early American wood stain. So I made another one the same way, but uh, the shelf is going the along lengthways. And then I'm just going to add a wee hanger to each one with the twine and popsicle stick. So for the one going in the opposite direction, I didn't double up the first rows of the shelf because it would have stuck out too far. And this is what the first one looks like. And obviously you're not going to put nothing too heavy on these. <laughs> You can paint them, stain them, distress them, any colours that you like. You could also put some words at the top or something if you wanted to. And then this is the other shelf going the other way. I don't really have anything to style these with. <laughs> I always look for wee trinkets in that Dollar Tree but I never find ones that I like. You need two packs of tower blocks for this DIY and some wood glue. And for this one, I'm going to glue together two rows of five tower blocks, but then I'm going to glue them together to make ten. But my ruler isn't long enough to make sure it's straight. So now I'm just going to glue those two together. And I'm just making an even bigger diamond. So then I glue 9, 8, 7, 6, all the way down to 1 on each side after that. But I won't show you all. <laughs> So I'll do the rest off camera because it's just the same as the last uh, DIYs that I made. So this mirror came from one of those round black mirrors from Dollar Tree. I just covered it with some paper and masking tape. <laughs> and I have some smaller beads. Um, can't remember what size they are. But I'll link them down below. And I'm just gluing them around the mirror. I haven't stuck the mirror down yet. So I'm just taking that off and then I'm going to glue the bigger beads to the outside. And then I stain it with the early American wood stain. And this is how it turned out. So I'm just going to glue on a wee hanger. And then I'm going to glue the mirror in the middle just with some hot glue, lots of hot glue, and that's it. And this is how it turned out, and I think it turned out really pretty. I was trying not to get my phone in the video, but it's too hard. <laughs> I need four block, four packs of tower blocks for this DIY, and some wood glue. And again, I'm just going to make a diamond, and I'm going to do five. I think it's five. <laughs> Yeah, five down to two. And I made four of them and now I'm just gluing one block in the middle of two of these. And then I'm going to join them together like this. And then I added some of the beads. And I made four of these. And now I made 
actually <laughs> I didn't make them big enough but it's it's three by seven but you need to do three by eight and you'll see me add on the extra tower blocks later on because I made a mistake and it should be three by eight and you need to buy it uh, buy <laughs> you need to make two of those and then I stained it all with the early American wood stain so these are my pieces and I'm just gonna glue them together now I have some of the or eight of the square blocks from Dollar Tree you could stain them if you want to so I'm just hot gluing them uh, underneath where I want the shelf to go and it's in the middle of the middle tower block that's on its own so just do the same to the other side and I'm just gonna glue the next side on with some wood glue and then a little bit of hot glue Okay, so this is when I realised that the sides weren't, the, the shelves weren't big enough and I thought that maybe I was supposed to put the other way around. <laughs> so I took it off and then I realised it's the right way around and this is where I just add on the extra blocks and then I go back and stain it again once it's finished. So just add three more blocks to each shelf. And then I glued on the next side. Try to make sure that it's in line with the other uh, side. And then I glued these blocks on, <laughs> on the wrong side of the shelf. <laughs> but since you're going to fill it up with, well, I'm going to fill it up with succulents and stuff. So it doesn't really matter, but just make sure you put yours on the right side. But once everyone's stained it again, you can't really notice. And then I just glue on the next side. Now this side sticks out a wee bit, but you just put that one at the back and no one will notice. So you can put a candle in this and just make it into a lantern. Or you can stick in one of the puck lights like I did, I'll link them down below and fill it up with succulents and make it a lantern planter <laughs> and it looks so pretty, it's like a wee mini jungle inside it so need one pack of tower blocks for this DIY and some wood glue and then I'm going to glue together six tower blocks in a row and then five four three and two you could put the one on the end if you want to but i didn't want to <laughs> i didn't like how it looked because the main diamond is going to be in the middle so once i made that i'm just gluing tower blocks just one row all around the outside of the diamond you could do two rows um, stacking them up if you wanted to it's up to you and of course I have to put the beads on <laughs> So I'm just putting them on the outside 
and then I have four bigger beads and they're going to be the wee feet on the bottom. So I'm just going to glue them down. And then I stained it with the early American wood stain. And it's just a wee riser that you can put stuff on, but it turned out really cute. You need one pack of tower blocks for this DIY and some wood glue. So I made another one of the diamonds, the same as the last time, but this time I'm going to put the glue down the tower blocks in the middle to make a smaller diamond. Again, you could put the ones, the one block on the outside if you want to. And then I'm going to glue some beads down. You can always glue them to the small diamond in the middle if you want to. And I will finish this off camera. And I stained it with the early American wood stain. It's my favourite now, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and then I have one of these Our Family Gathers Here signs from the arch windows from Dollar Tree. So I just glued it to the front and then I made a wee hanger for the back with a popsicle stick and the hot glue and the twine and this is how it turned out. I think it turned out really cute. Of course you can put whatever you want on the front of it. This is just what I had. I wanted to use it. You need one tower block pack for this DIY and some wood glue. And this is another picture <laughs> but a different version. So I made another one of those diamonds the same as the last two DIYs and then I'm gluing on four tower blocks um, either end and at the two sides and now I'm making another diamond to go on the top of that. So if you want to, which I did do for the next DIY but I didn't show you guys, you can make the diamond in the middle and glue these around the outside but I kept gluing, <laughs> gluing them to the wrong the inside pieces by accident so I'm just going to show you like this and then you can make it like that if you want but I kept messing it up <laughs> but this is what you're supposed to end up with So yeah, it's just one row of tower blocks around the outside and then I just put this on top to try and make sure that it was going to be the same size. And then once it was dry, I glued on some wee beads. Then I put some glue on those four tower blocks and put it on top. I just wanted to give it like a 3D look. You could stack up another one if you wanted to and then I stained it with the early American wood stain and now I have this home sweet home sign it's also from one of those um oh, what are they called arch windows from Dollar Tree and then I glued a hanger on the back and this is how it turned out so there's so many different things you could do with these diamonds. I had even more ideas, but I didn't have time to make them all. So let me know if you want me to make them one day in the future. I forgot to say I made a planter similar to the lantern, but I'll link that down below the video for that. I need two tower block packs for this DIY and some wood glue. And I made five more of these diamonds like I did in the last DIY and I put the beads on two of them 
I've done it on the inside of the diamond. So now I'm just going to glue two tower blocks standing up to each side. And then I'm going to stack up the pieces that don't have beads on them. Did I say I turned the first bead one over? Turn the first bead, <laughs> beaded piece over because you need the beads to be on the outside. And then I stack them up like this. And then I put the one with the beads on the top. So yeah, I did make a planter in a previous video. That's where I got the idea for all these DIYs. Um, but I stained it in the Jacobean wood stain, so I didn't want to put it in this video. So I will link it down below in case you want to make that and make things a set and stuff. Or to match the lantern. And I stained it with the early American wood stain and it's just a plant stand. Uh, I was going to make a top for it and make it riser but I couldn't decide what kind of top I wanted to put on it whether I wanted it to be the diamond shape or a rectangle or a square so if you make this you can decide what you want to put if you want to make it like this or you want to put a top on it and you can let me know in the comments what you would do. I also made another one and I put a bottom on it and then I, put, I only used one block um, for the front and I put a bead on each and this is a plant pot, planter. <laughs> I made this one first but I put the beads on the outside instead of the inside so I had to redo it. So you're getting two DIYs now. <laughs> but thanks for watching. Let me know which one of these DIYs is your favourite. See you soon. Bye.